In this video, we're going to talk about uh, Linux antivirus. If you're a Cyber Patriot competitor, um, virus protection is a good thing, right? So we've got uh, Clam AV uh, is one thing we'll talk about. We'll talk about RK Hunter, and we'll talk about Linux Malware Detect in this series. Let's start with our apt install. So I'm going to go ahead and do an apt install Clam AV, and let's install Clam AV hyphen daemon. Now here's the difference. Go ahead and hit enter on that. It'll take you a second to get all that pulled down. Um, for Clam AV, when you run it, it will run the scan on demand, but you have to schedule it as a cron job or you have to run it manually. You have to tell it which folders to scan, all that good stuff. Clam AV Daemon, you still have to do the same thing. You have to run it manually and, and do all of that, but it um, remains active in memory. It's a lot faster, and the uh, antivirus updates that you run with the um, signature updates that we do for this to update all of the malware based on you know current information is automatically loaded in. It's a lot faster. Now, the downside is, with Clam AV Daemon, is it can be resident in memory, and it can take up to 2 gigabytes of memory, 4 gigabytes of memory. It can be pretty intensive on the system to keep that running. But when you run your scans, it's a lot faster. So go ahead and run that apt install. Let's go ahead and do an apt install m locate as well. And of course, after we install m locate, we need to do an update db. Always a good idea. So now that we have clam av installed, let's update our signatures. Now, when you run this, my system's been running for a little bit longer, fresh clam. I'm going to run this, and it's going to tell me mine is up to date. It could very well, most likely, tell you that, wait, I can't get a lock on the log file. Um, this process is running somewhere else, because when you first installed Clam AV, Fresh Clam is running to update all of the definitions. And that can take a few minutes. Let's use this uh, opportunity to talk about um, how to sort of scout the system and, and do some reconnaissance for new services and uh, things that are installed. I think this is a good point based on previous modules. So we've just installed something called Clam AV. And I've told you that there is a program we could run called Flesh, Fresh Clam that will update antivirus signatures. However, Fresh Clam is also running as a service right now. So how can we check the status of this service? Well, we've talked about Linux services before, so system CTL. So if I were to do system CTL status fresh clam, for example, because that's a service that I'm assuming is running somewhere somehow, and we'll talk about where it is and what it's doing in a minute, we'll see fresh clam dot service not found. So let's do some reconnaissance and let's see if we can figure out where the actual service name for this is. Um, if I've installed mlocate, I can do a locate fresh clam. Go ahead and do that. And if we look up here, we can see an Etsy system D, we do have a clam av fresh clam dot service. And we also have a user lib system D fresh clam service. So in all likelihood, based on what we know about multi user target wants at this point, this is a sim link that points to this file down here user lib system D let's um, so that tells us then that we can do a um, system CTL status clam AV hyphen fresh clam we'll be able to get the status and we can see that this service is indeed running and we get some other information here. We can also see what that exec start is. It's running fresh clan hyphen D. And just like we've done in previous videos, we can go up to um, our clam AV hyphen fresh clam dot service file, open it up and figure out exactly what executable it's running. So let's take a look at where the uh, fresh clam the updates are stored first so i'm going to pico etsy clam av fresh clam dot conf pause the video go ahead and do that and this file right here is the one that's going to 
determine how often your antivirus signatures are updated. If we look down here, this checks 24, that's where it is. Checks for a new database 24 times a day. You can set that up, whatever you want. It will evenly distribute it. So every hour it's going out and it's checking for antivirus updates and it's keeping your antivirus signatures up to date. We have a log file here and that's for, uh, is it started? Is it stopped? Are there any errors? And uh, several other, you know, the database directory for the signature, stuff like that. All right, so that's Fresh Clam, and Fresh Clam then keeps our signatures updated. Updated. So let's go ahead and uh, run a quick scan. But before I do that, I would like to point out where the Clam daemon file is located. Again, it's Etsy Clam AV, Clam D dot com. If you want to pause the video, go there, take a look. And these are all of the um, parameters that are being utilized here for that uh, daemon service that's being run in the background that's utilizing all of the signatures. We'll take a look at the difference between Clam D and Clam here in a second. But we can see that uh, we are scanning for PDFs, HTML, you know, all of the things that we want to be able to configure here. So there's our configuration file for that as well. Um, so let's do a, a scan here using uh, the clam daemon versus just clam and take a look at the difference. So if I do a CD downloads, I do an LS here, I have downloaded a version of the Mirai botnet. And these files just have really long hash names. I could rename them anything. These are binaries that uh, I would not execute on this system unless I had the network card com completely disconnected. I'd want to uh, sort of detonate this in a secure sandbox if I were to run this. But this is a pretty aggressive malware here that I have in the downloads directory. So let's use ClamAV to detect it. You can just watch this as an example. If I run clam scan by itself, let's look at the uh, manual page for clam scan. Actually, do this part man clam scan. I'm going to use forward slash and I'm going to do a hyphen I. Hit enter and that's going to search for me. We're going to um, tell it to with hyphen I, which I just scrolled off of. Try that one more time. There we go. Uh, we're going to only print infected files, so we're going to use hyphen I. Uh, there's another flag that is recommended you do not use, and it's hyphen hyphen remove. Remove will remove any infected files, but the problem there is if Clam AV picks up a match that isn't really a match, it'll remove it. And so you want to, you know, manually remove any files and deal with them. You don't want Clam AV to just automatically, oh, look, malware, let's get rid of it. Um, Clam AV will also quarantine files and move it into a different folder for you as well. We'll talk about that too. So we're going to run uh, Clam Scan and hyphen I, hyphen R for recursive because we want to do a whole directory. Again, when we run Clam Scan, we want to point it at a folder. And we could run it just off the root folder and we could do a clam scan of the whole system. We're going to get a whole lot of false positives there that we're going to have to filter through. That's a good idea if you're like a cyber patriot competitor, though, is to do a, a full run at it. But let's just do the downloads folder where I have my version of Mirai. So I'm going to hit enter and it's going to run. I'm going to pause the video. Um, we can see that it's 417 down here in the corner. So I'll be back just as soon as this is finished. So that ballparked about one minute, a little more than that really. So it's 418 down here now. Uh, but it did identify this Mirai Trojan and each of these files matches a signature that's in my known database here of um, over 8 million different signatures in the database. That's a pretty big um, list. It scanned four files. It found four that were infected. And so we, because we used I, it didn't deal with it. It's just telling me, hey, these are here. This is a problem. Now that was clam scan. But if I run 
clam d scan hyphen i hyphen r downloads. Watch this. It's immediate because clam d is executing and it's taking care of um, what it needs to take care of actively. And it's able to print these reports much more quickly. So that's the difference between clam scan and uh, clam d scan. Now let's take a look at um, the log file. So Pico Etsy, and I'm sorry, var log clam av clam av dot log is going to contain helpful log information from clam d, and it's going to you know indicate it started all that good stuff. But as I scroll down here, we have a log of malware that was detected. You can see that. It did indeed uh, detect that and create a log so we can go through and uh, we have a point of reference here for that. There'll be a checkpoint here if you're in my class. Um, the last thing I want you to do, and if you're not on a graphical system, if you're logged into something like Amazon Web Services, just pay attention here. Uh, we can do an apt install clam tk. So if you're on VirtualBox, go ahead and do this with me. I'll pause the video while that installs. So we've just installed a front end for Clam AV that is a graphical user interface. So I can go ahead and run Clam TK now. And looks like I'm doing this as root. I should probably do this as student with sudo. But uh, this works as root for now. That's fine. Uh, we can now go in and configure the things that we... Um, normally we do with a command line. So for quarantine, if we scan a file, for example, I'll go ahead and I'll scan a file. And if I pick my home student downloads where my Mirai was here, pick this first one, it's going to take a second. It's going to chug and we're going to have to wait for it, but if you're on VirtualBox, go ahead and do that. You'll see it'll tell you maybe that it's waiting. I'm going to wait, and I'm going to pause the video. Give this a second. It will go through. And now that it's gone through and scanned that file and determined that we have something that's suspicious, I now have the option to go in and quarantine, delete, analysis. Um, and so we have here um, for analysis, I haven't really messed with that one. But uh, there are lots of other ways we can go in and investigate what this malware is, and we talk about that later on in the cyber in the advanced cybersecurity uh, units. We'll look um, some more at that. But anyway, that's your heads up on Clam AV and uh, the graphical user interface and the program Fresh Clam that provides antivirus updates. In the next video, we'll take a look at RK Hunter.